Alright, welcome. So we're going to start doing a little news update, mod update for Farming Simulator every morning. I work night shifts, so it'll be very early in the morning that you should have this every day. And I will try to do it every day. It'll be any any kind of news there is and the mods. Uh, but right now we're going to go ahead and... This is kind of a little bit behind because I didn't do I just started doing it. So we're just going to do what I got for now. Currently right now there is 79 mods that they are testing. And... Eight of those mods are for consoles, and the number of mods, according to Giant's website, they have 174 waiting to be tested, and it's taken an average of six days. So here we are. We're gonna go through these. These are the ones I'm just using the latest tab, and we'll go check some of these out. A lot of these I don't even know about. So we'll uh, we'll look at them. Some of these are an update. I do know that. So we will. Um, Try to tell you which ones are an update because I, I I don't know like with the maps as far as the maps I'm not really sure uh, which ones are updates and which ones are not but I'll try to get you updated on that anyway we'll see if we can uh, let's just see if we can find the updates right now so we will go through this let's see which ones are updates all right right here the uh, Vermeer Tether Pack this is an update. So if you have this, it's, it needs to be updated if you if you have it. I don't know what they did to it. Uh, we can scroll down through it. Let's see what, so they have the change log right there. So the change log, they added the TD-190. They added the toggleable width and dropping areas and updated the mod description. That's for, that's just to make the mod work. It's another piece that you have to have. So while we're, this is, this needs to be updated if you have that all right so now let's see we're going to move on to our other updates we have the uh, unia cultivator pack this right here is an update it's ready for one there's a change log a uh, cultivator model change they added a roller and reflector configurations added u404 the wally version so if you're a fan of that it's ready for an update we have the lizard right here lizard classic barrel this is ready for an update as well so they added color configurations and fixed minor issue when adding improvements whatever that means so that's ready for an update if you have that in your uh, in your your mod portfolio let's see we've got where is it at there's another one in here I don't see it. So I don't see it in here, but we're going to go ahead and talk about it. It is the Oracle BK150. It's a, it's for a loader. It's your actual, it's a bale grabber, and it's ready for an update if you have it. Uh, let's see. Right here, crop storage. Crop storage pack. Uh, if you have this one here, DMI 20 millimeter Normandy made this. If you have this, uh, looks, looks like the change log. They fixed the tip collision, so it's ready for an update. If you have that one, and I think that should do it for our updates. I hope. I do believe that is it. I'll make one quick look. Yep. All right. So moving on now, we're going to get into some. Nope. I uh, take that back. We have three. Oh, we have quite a few updates actually. So uh, we'll go up here. So this this is not an update. Not an update. Right here, the Michigan Maps Farm. It has an update to it. Let's cruise on down and look at the change log. So it looks like here it says uh, new save not required. Change log street lights. For new style, soybean harvest ready texture changed. Added more paintable ground textures and construction menu. Uh, adjusted viable lands bordering the map. Miscellaneous updates. Uh, that was change log 1.2. So I guess this is needed an update twice. I don't. I do not have the map. But if you you're if you're a Michigan Farms map, uh, you really like it. You need to update it. 
no change, no new save. So I understand if you don't want to do it because your save game, because that, I don't know, that can kind of get a little annoying. But you're good. And let's see. I'm not even really sure how to say that, so I'm probably gonna mess it up, but we're gonna say it anyway. So I'm gonna say ter Tershelling. This map right here is ready for an update as well. Uh, looks like their change log is uh, problems problems with smoothing solved possibility to place fences around no more water in the barn fence of field 25 can be opened again objects moved and more stone types drawable so if you have this map it's ready for an update if that sounds like things that you you're having problems with that should correct it let's see here now we've got this is a signal I guess that's how you say that. This map here is ready for an update. If you have this, looks like it's got a pretty lengthy change log. Looks like it's got several. So it's had some issues, as you can see. So 1.1 is done. 1.2, still no save. Looks like here, 1.3. So some trees have already been felled and appear again and the hedges on the BGA can disappear otherwise no new save game is necessary so this is the current update right here so if you do play this map you've either updated it or you haven't if you haven't it is ready for three updates I do believe oh we do have more we have more updates so there's a whole lot of updates let's, let's go around uh, if I can find it Some of them aren't on here. I don't know why. Um, so I'll do my best. Looks like the Oracle TX-130. It's a trailer and it's ready for an update. So if you use that, you need to update it. It's like we got the Massey Ferguson LS-2200. This is ready for an update. Um, change log 1.2. Let's see. Stickers can be improved. Stickers has been improved. Uh, backstop lights have been changed. Dirt texture has been changed. Nodding group fan has been added. New details have been added. The model has been improved and the whole vehicle has been reworked. So, you use this. Big fan of it. KRKZ modding makes some really nice stuff. Really nice Massey Burgess and stuff. So, if you use it, this should fix some issues if you're having issues. Otherwise, I, I guess just keep on going with what you got. Let's see. We've got another one uh, right here. The Amazon Census 2TX Super Pack. This has an update. It's author RC3D Chris, Chris E136. I haven't said all their names, but it's on the screen so you can see it. I take no credit for any of this stuff. I'm just trying to bring it to you. Uh, let's look at change log here. They added the Census 603 2X Super. I'm guessing that is bigger. So let's see, 6 meter, 8 meter. 603. So that's a 250 horse. It's 6 meter. So they added the 6 meter one to the pack. Replaces, replaced detachable hoses with new models. Adjusted the working depth. And fixed the attacher. So to use that. You need to get it updated. The uh, Joskin Drakkar pack. Drakkar pack. This is ready for an update. Let's see what they've done for us. The uh, add color, fill volume adjusted, and various adjustments. So if you, you use this, you're a big fan. I don't currently, but in the past I have used Joskin. It's pretty nice stuff. So if you're a fan of them, Go ahead and get that fixed. It's probably going to help you out. Some of the things that they changed in there for you. Uh, Lizard 6000. Uh, this is ready for an update. The change log that they've got in here. I've got two change logs. So the second one would be the most uh, most recent. Looks like new, uh, new decals. Description version increased. New store and mod icon. Lowered cost of post configuration. So basic uh basic script changes is what they did to it didn't really look like it changed the mod and how it works any 
Okay, let's see, we've got, let's see, the Hauer. Hauer SGS 2600. This is an update as well. Um, looks like change log 1.3. They added more colors, configuration, description version, and increased new store icon, optimized the file. So they just kind of cleaned it up. So what, they, what that means. They just took some junk out that they didn't need in there. Uh, let's see here. Pack small building. Pack of small buildings. So this is ready for an update as well. Let's see. They fixed the house clip distance, added new house with small garage, price 50000 Daily maintenance is $20. So if you use that, go ahead and get it updated. It'll help you out a little bit. Um, slurry tanks. The slurry tanks ready for an update. Looks like down here we've got change log. What did we do to it? Change log 1.1. So new store icons. That was 1.1. So 1.2 digestate is no longer converted into liquid manure during filling and added fill animation to open pits so if that sounds i don't do any of this stuff i don't really mess with animals or i, I don't do any of it but if you do and you use this and you like it you need to get it updated because that sounds like something that would definitely help you out especially if you're doing the uh, productions because it's probably something you need um oops i got one more we got more updates so right here, the uh, factory soy drink. Change log removed. Spline visibility. Changed visual palette. So the spline, that was probably, it, it shows you where it goes. Like tip triggers and stuff, I, I would say is what that is. And they removed it so you couldn't see it anymore. Uh, changed the visual palette. So there you go. If you do that, check that out. All right, I think that is it. I think that's it for our updates. I have to remember which ones I just told you. So I'm pretty sure these are all good. This is good. This is good. Okay, these are all updates. Update. All those were updates. All those were updates. These were updates. Okay, so we're gonna go through. We're gonna look at these real quick. This is the new map. Feral TG Pixel Farms. This is a uh, Deerlands. We'll go ahead and hop in here and look at some pictures real quick, see what they got. I, I looked at it earlier, it looks pretty nice. Looks like it's kind of geared sort of for logging, but there is some farming as you can see, but it looks like there's a huge amount of forestry. Which being we have the uh, Putnam DLC, it won't be no problem. So, we'll just have a look at these. Looks pretty nice, did a pretty good job. Like I said, if you want to farm, looks like you can do that. Or if you like the forestry like I do, uh, they, they got you set up pretty nice. So, Deerlands, check it out if you need the new map. It's 241 MB. So, Sidio Security Map. Sorry if I butchered that. Agra Capri. Capria. This kind of reminds me of Stancho Apaco from FS17. But let's take a look at it and see what we got here. Uh, looks like it does have a little like a tree farm back there. So if you're liking to do the trees, farming, looks like you can do both. No problem whatsoever. And here's the map layout. Looks really nice. Um, pretty open. So you got, looks like you got, like I said, you, you got a little bit of tree farming if you want. Or you can just do some open, you can just do some regular old farming. Uh, looks like they kind of got it set up for you. So it looks pretty nice and it looks like most all the store stuff looks like it's all right there so that would be good i don't know if this is set up in there for you already if it is that's pretty nice uh, otherwise i don't know if they just showed you this but if it's already set up that's nice if you do grapes i don't i don't i don't know it just seems too complicated for me for the return that you get that's just me though maybe you really like it and if you do that's great it's 127.66 mb all right, let's move on. Star 8150. So this is a new mod. The two maps are new mods. This is a new mod. Um, they added a configuration, so you got your cab colors you can change, stainless steel exhaust, you got the rim color, beacons, fenders. Uh, if you're on PC, you have mouse controls, and the IC is for uh, PC as well. And they've added the uh, Kubota passenger script, so you'll have to have the Kubota DLC for that to work. Other than that, it kind of looks like the base game style to me. But as you can see, the cab differences, you can change the colors there. I don't know 
wheel differences. I don't know. I didn't even see that. But if you're a big fan of the Steyr, well, there's a new version of it right there. Uh, Lizard 900. So we've got a new... It's a small, a small little uh, maneuver spreader made by Kopi. So it looks like it's got, doesn't require much horsepower and holds 9,500. So kind of a small operation, small tractor. And if you're wanting something new, there you go. Uh, low loader, so we can always use a good low loader. Uh, so this is the Lizard Low Loader by Fast Farming. Uh, Triaxle version, get it for eighteen thousand seven fifty, or you can do the double for twelve five. Looks like it's got ramps on it, ramp bell. So you got different configurations, toolbox, decals, reflectors. So yeah, good little trailer. You need it. Let's let's take a look at it. We're running through here. Like change of colors. It's a nice big trailer, so that's good. So if you're needing a low loader, pop in there and get it. This is a nice little lizard P. 031 Termit is 303 made by Zimowe Wojo Nick. Sorry if I butchered that. So it's a little small little sprayer, it doesn't look like it's very big at all. What is it? It says 630 horsepower, it's 8 meter. So if you're into the, the, the really small stuff, then this looks really good. It actually looks like something you you'd use for old school so pretty cool i like doing the old school stuff so here you go this is a nice little old school sprayer let's see moving on here we got us a trailed lifter it's made by ey modding so this would be pretty good for any of the any of the tractors that don't have a three point i'm guessing that's why he made this which is fantastic love all these old little tractors uh, they're they're great i'm gonna We'll have to do something with them one of these days, but uh, big fan, big fan, of these, especially the old Poppin' Johns. I got a couple Poppin' Johns in real life. I got a, I got an IH too, so big fan. But basically, it just allows you to pull implements that you can. Let's see, machinery hall. Was this an update? No, I don't think this is an update. So here you go. Here's your new machinery hall. You're, you're just wanting. There's tons and tons of them, but. Uh, any new one anybody wants to make it's cool with me user 555 made this uh, looks really nice the snow looks really good on it too did a really good job so let's let's have a look at it real quick too that looks really nice i like that look at that snow on there and it's pretty roomy so, pretty nice pretty nice barn if you're in the market you want another one give her a look there's a modern uk farmhouse uh, I I have some farmhouses, but for the most part, I I really like the platinum ones. They did they did them pretty good. They're, they're really nice. So let's have a look at this thing. Looks pretty good. Standard cobblestone style house. Looks pretty nice. Made by made by Amos Modding. Give it a try if you want a different house or if you want an English style house and you don't want an American looking house. So there you go. Okay, we've already went through all these. These are all updates. All this is update, 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 update. So right here, we got BR163MS. This is a map by Zero. Ito? Oh, Ito? So let's look at it. Let's see what we got. Sorry, right, go back in there. I guess I should read a description because I don't know where this is at. This is based on a stretch of BR163 Highway in the region city of... Dorados in the state of Mato Grosso do so I don't know I'm so I'm guessing I'm not even gonna guess where it's at but it's definitely not here in the United States <laughs> but it looks like here you've got 10 new productions custom soil map for precision modding you've got the point of sale productions platinum DLC you also have extra mods farmhouse silo silo extension sheds water tower greenhouses plants and trees so Pretty, pretty good amount of stuff. But let's get in there and look at it. That's a massive map. Look at that. So it looks like... It looks like there's some mining up there in the top right corner. So that might be something too. You might be able to do some mining and farming. So I, that might be something I need to check out. I might have to look that up. Because I, I like... I'm, I'm, I like the logging stuff and I like the mining stuff. So by the, by the flag it's in... 
well, right there, Brazil. That's pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice map. Look at that. Look at that big old barn with the lizard on it. I like that. It's good. Got our big log mill right there. That looks good too. I really like the log and stuff. I can see that. So there you go. There's another new map. If you want to try it, it's uh, 659.13 MB. So if you're on console, it's uh, that's a big deal for you. That means something. On PC, it really don't matter. Because you're not really limited. So Little Land, let's check out Little Land. This is made by Fudzo. Uh, it's, a, it's a European map by what he says. See, a uh, fictional map inspired by the territories of Germany and the Czech Republic. Uh, all right, well, let's check it out. Let's see what we got here. Looks really nice. I really like that. They, they got a good shot there. Uh, looks like maybe forestry on the outer and farming in the middle so kind of like to me looks like kind of like a hedgerow setup type stuff and that's nice look at that they did a really good job yeah it looks really really nice little land huh well that's a pretty nice little map there uh 282.27 mb if like i said if you're on a console pretty big Pretty big space taken. <laughs> As you can see, my space is pretty much maxed out. I always got to delete stuff. Um, the Balam Road Dairy Farming. Let's check this out. We'll Welcome to Balam. 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 It's made by FS Landscaping, by the way. Road Dairy Farming based on Northwest England. Okay. Let's check it out. So by the way, it sounds like it's just a big dairy farm, and then these lands around it serve the dairy farm. I'm guessing could be misleading, I guess. But yeah, it kind of looks like it's going to be a gigantic dairy farm, which is what it says and what it shows you. So if you're into the dairy stuff, uh, I have been in the past, but I honestly I don't even think I think I've done a mod setup. <laughs> That's about it. So McCormick Deering W4 is made by EY Modding. He has a lot of great older tractors. Love what he does. It's a fantastic job. So if you're liking the old stuff, there's tons of it in there. Uh, any of it doesn't matter what it is. He, I, I don't, I don't think he cares. I think he just likes making old tractors, and, and I, I love, I love using them. So give it a try, especially if you're doing the old school stuff. We'll go ahead and take a look at it. W4 McCormick. Yep, looking pretty good. Look at that. Got the old school baler. Man, it looks nice. They did a good job. Really, really did. Looks really good stuff. So like I said, if you like the old school, check it out. Uh, what, who else we got here? Man, TGX 26640 box truck by TB Simulation in. So it looks like it's, it's basically the man log truck. With the stuff removed. Is that what he did? Yeah. So that's kind of what it looks like. Looks like the log truck is removed. I got, I'm guessing it comes with the trailer. It shows that trailer. So that's pretty cool. I guess you can use this for your pallets. Uh, let's see if this auto load. Maybe. Is that what it is? Small, medium sized goods, the following shop op options are available. So, you color, cabin, box rims, additional parts, lights, protection grill, turnable box trailer. You can transport small and medium sized goods to shop. And... Nope. Well, but if you're in the, if you're needing a truck, box truck, you want a different way to haul your goods. Pretty nice, pretty nice truck. Looks like they did a pretty good job. Good setup. So it's here. We got AAA modding. This is the HTS 100.27. And this is a slurry tank. Holds 10,000 capacity. Uh, it's got a 10 meter spread. And I would say you can buy the pictures of it. Looks like you got some color options if you would like. And the tractor doesn't look like it's a giant tractor. So you can probably pull it with a fairly smaller tractor as well. 
Looks like yeah, it didn't tell you horsepower, but you probably didn't require much. 5,800 horse, something like that. All right, Cramp Big Body Trident Series. It's made by Chris Chrissy136. So we got. I guess that's just all. Let's see, the triaxle version configurations, markings: orange, red, white. Stickers, Cramp Rhino, Accident Ladder, Work Platform, Flex Cover, Mesh Cover, Tail Light, Standard Tail Light. So you've got some options to do different configurations. It's like quite a bit of different configurations. Capacities from 33.9 to 53.9, 53.5, sorry. Let's have a look at it. It's a pretty good size wagon right there. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can change it, like I said, so you can change the capacities of it if you need to. Well, that's good. Holds about everything you need it to hold. The Uni uh, Sleza, made by Kawa. Small Polish sprayer. Requires 30 horsepower, 12 meters. Holds 1,000. So this is a good one. Looks like a good one for a small, uh, small operation or old school. Old school stuff. Looks like you got some color options with it too. So yeah, look, it's got the little John Deere 710 pull on it. Yeah, so it looks good. Yeah, if you need a, need a small little sprayer, yep, pick her up, give her a try. See, front loader adapter, let's check this one out. This is made by Sledjeb, Sladjamon, Slamon, sorry. This adapter will allow you to use your wheel loader tools on a tractor. So, that's kind of nice being able to use everything like that let's see the chicken coop chicken coop is a new yes by c zarni 317 small chicken coop where you can raise chickens and earn additional income on your land the capacity is 47 chickens cost forty five hundred dollars so you need a you need a new chicken coop or you want one it's kind of neat really little block building well there you go i don't really mess with the chickens anymore i mean i kind of did but elegant house eed 123 bear farm so this is the well that's not an elegant house sorry about that rajat gp play rajat g play let's just do that so this is a house freshly finished and with the sod and the place where you can go and sleep and skip the night. It has a Christmas decor. So that's kind of cool. So new house, $75,000. Got a Christmas decor on it. It does have, I don't wonder if you make any money. It's got solar panels on the back. <laughs> that's pretty neat. I like that. That's pretty, that's awesome. So. Yeah, I guess if we're still playing this game next year and you want to be in the holiday season, well, there you go. Or, I guess you don't have to be. But there it is. New house, Christmas decor. Okay, these were all updates. Crop storage. Is this an update? Yes, that was an update. Okay, Lizard TK series. Like EED123 Bear Farm. Now we're into where we're supposed to be, so... It's just different tractors. TK80, 82, uh, 81 horse, 105 horse. Not really sure what the difference is. Lizard 08, 5600. So that's the loader. We'll go ahead and look at that. I don't know what that's modeled after. They look different. Yeah, the one's newer, one's older looking, I guess. So it's all pretty neat. Got front attachers, so. Pretty neat little tractor. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's made after something. So, the actual brand that they, they don't have. So, he manufactured between 69 and 2008, and each year of over 500,000 tractors are made. So, yeah, it's probably something. But, yep, nice little tractor. You need a little one. There you go. Lamborghini 230. I like the Lamborghini. It's been around forever. I think that thing's been around since 15. This by Gaming Flow Lamborghini 230. It's basically a Deutz. 
the Deutsch tractor basically in white. I think I don't know what else is different, but it allows you to have uh, let's see the main color, so you can change the main colors. You never could do before. It's always white, so you do have color options, interior options. See warning signs, front loader protection. You can actually so that's cool. We can put the loader on it. It's a big tractor for a loader. Let's have a look at it. So yeah, it's good old standard old school Lamborghini. I'd say you probably put tires on it too. So yep, yeah, if you're a big Lamborghini fan, check it out. Pinnacle 6x4 Tanker Mac. What's not to like about a Mac? Farm Mods TV. So the tanker on there, see its base price 93500 You got engine options, speeds 80, uh, and it holds 12,000 gallon. Uh, let's see, it looks like it can transport digestate, liquid, manure, and water. So that's cool. So you've got three that you can transport. you got a pretty sweet truck to do it with. So give it a try. See the Lizard Z105 one. I don't even know what this is. What is this? Mower. It's made by Slycliffe Vocals Austria. It's got a width of 165. See worker speed 15 kilometers. Requires 15 horsepower. So actually, if you had the um, what was that? Antonio Carrero packs be perfect for that. Any of them tractors would pull this thing. So. Your configurations are colors, covers, and number of knives. So you've got that option. And you're in the, in the market for a little one, a little mower. There you go. Grain silo. Daijo Modding. See, this is the grain silo of the brand Lizard. It's $89,000. Maintenance 111 a day. It's capacity is 600000 Let's have a look at it. Just great big grain leg grain system oh, that's pretty nice the brick fence and metal gate by Mach Mach so it just allows you if you basically decorative yeah gives you some new options new fence option anyway so more fences you like to do fences and, and things of that nature Riding hall, what we got here? So this is made by Nope82, no modding, based on our map, riding hall. This indoor riding area and outdoor facilities, a solar roof was created where you can train your horses and keep them fit as you wish. So $15,000, upkeep's $50, $60 an hour. So I'm not sure if this I guess it just trains your horse for you or does it give you a place to train them maybe that's kind of cool if you do the horse thing it's pretty cool um, I've not ever really touched anything with the horses I did horses in real life and I really uh, would rather not do that again so <laughs> but if you do here it is check it out kind of neat thing and uh, that pretty much wraps it up for the mods for actually last week and uh, I will I will try to do a new one for you Tuesday so it'll be Tuesday morning when I go when I get home from work that's because that should be some new stuff there's not gonna be anything new really tomorrow and there will be but uh, I will probably update you on Tuesday with it and then every morning thereafter is when I will probably do the news so this is just a, a once type thing so i'll probably only do uh five days a week because that's whenever they work whenever the news is going to come out um also the updates there is an update to your platinum dlc if you haven't done that I, it's been a little bit since i've played so if you you're not aware i don't know all of the changes but I do know that some of the changes that they did was the claws on the uh, Traco, when you actually put the grapples on, they wouldn't work right, and I just quit using them. Well, they supposedly fixed that, so that was that's supposed to be taken care of. Uh, they did some other fixes, I do believe, to the large loader, the L, is it L200. Uh, they did some fixes to that as well. Um, there were some other various fixes, but the main one to me that stuck out was the grapple on the, the actual Draco because it's, it's really kind of annoying. 
and I do believe they fixed the fix on the uh, if you watched any of my streams the little claw wouldn't work it screwed up sometimes and it wouldn't work I think they fix all that stuff too so mainly claws are supposed to be fixed and ready to go I think so this wraps it up for this news and like I said I will I will try to have you one every morning from now on for five days to five days a week. There will be nothing on the weekend as far as news because there's not really ever any news. So, Thanks for watching.